Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. Hello and welcome to the Derby Creek Diaries. I'm Gail Thompson and I'm so glad to be back and hope all is well with you. I have moons three ways that I want to show you but I think we're going to have to split this up into a couple, three episodes because I like to keep my videos short. The first method is using a moon mask. And Tim Holtz brought these out, I think, a couple Halloweens ago in three sizes. There's a fourth one uh, that was with a Simon Says Stamp Christmas set last year. I'm using some Stick it grids to uh, tape to the back so I can do some spraying and it's it's repositionable and it is super easy to to use and I use it in my misty tool so I'm trying to get it so these are out of the way it doesn't matter on the solid piece but it, it matters on the the part that's got the graphics on it so these are called uh, stick grid sheets. Now the watercolor paper from Tim Holtz has a smooth side and a rough side. For this one we're going to use the smooth side. The bumpy side just gives you a different, the texture side gives you just a different look and I'm going to do that in one of the other cards. But it is super good paper. It is white white and I really enjoy using it. I'd say I that's my go-to paper for watering of just, I would think about 100% of the time. Now I'm gonna place the base of my moon mask off to the side a little jauntily. I don't really want to fill up the whole card with it. This is an A2 size card. So the final size will be five and a half, or four and a half, five and a quarter by four and a half. Now when I got my sprays out, I thought I, I have dozens of sprays, so I thought, oh, I'll this will be a piece of cake and I'll be able to whip this up. Well, I got downstairs and I couldn't find my black soot spray. And I just, I didn't have any. And so I freaked out. Just like R2-D2. So as I'm spraying, I decide to wait until, you know, I can get the black soot. So that was part of the delay. Now the cool thing about this is, is it's going to look like a hot mess. I sprayed several colors of the mica spray and the spray stains. I'll have those all listed below. Uh, mostly it was the purples and I did some uh, smoke and I did a prize ribbon and I did shaded lilac. And you have to just keep working this. You, it, it isn't a one and done thing. You have to keep after it. So I, I keep after it. I decide my moon doesn't look like everyone else's. This is another, this is a technique that Tim Holt showed. Honestly, can't remember the name of the lady that came up with it, but I, I did not come up with this myself. So you just keep spraying. I put in some uh, squeezed lemonade spray to kind of make the moon have a little bit of a glow and you just keep watering it down drying it patting off the big pools of color you don't really want huge pools of color and since most of these are oxide sprays there's going to be that little haze to it so i need to fix that so we just keep after this like i said it's a hot mess and actually, this is my first attempt at ever doing it, so I can't even believe I got a usable card out of it. So there are some more uh, prize ribbon and some more shaded lilac. And now I'm going to try to pull that mask off again. Now we're getting somewhere. But I just keep adding the water. I mean, I probably could have stopped there, but I didn't know any better. And I just, you know, I still wasn't happy. It just sort of, to look spooky, it needed to have runs all the way through it and not just coming up from the bottom, so I felt. So I decided to leave that for a while. Once this is completely dry, 
I put on the 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 moon um, I don't know the features or whatever this is fossilized amber and I'm just I don't have a one of those cool stipple brushes so I just used my regular brush and pushed on it pretty well to get it in those nooks and crannies it's a relief I guess that would be a relief map as one with so this is a relief stencil so I'm trying to get into all those little nooks and crannies and it doesn't matter if the yellow goes off to the side you know out of that stencil area because it'll just look like a, a glow I'm getting quite the shoulder workout with this just trying to get it all poked in there and I decided to lightly go over the rest of it to, so it didn't stand out quite as much a little more muted and then I think well that's too yellow so I've got to do something about this so I get out my black soot ink pad not to stress but the ink pad and I get in there and not taking a bunch of care because you really don't have to it all kind of I would say it comes out in the wash it, it kind of does because it's water reactive so you spray it and it all goes different places anyway so I'm kind of just slopping it on for lack of a better word and especially around the edges I wanted to get it dark I wanted it to be spooky so and I was hurrying up to try to get this done for Halloween but it didn't work out but now I've got three different moons for you so I'm, I'm mooning you really well more water and now I'm going to take my heat tool not an embossing tool but the heat tool and I'm going to just kind of direct this the droplets if you have an embossing tool and you don't have a heat tool just keep the gun back a little ways because it, it's just going to blast everything everywhere um, and the idea is to kind of drive it not you know explode all over your desk once you get this completely dry again this paper is getting toasty I think I don't I thought well I'll put a little bit of black soot around so the moon still I want it bright but I don't want it to be super bright well then I got, looked at it again I said ah, still not spooky enough so like I said if you first you don't succeed try try again and again and again and eventually I mean it's paper it's not, you know, I, I know I, when you start spending time on something, you yeah, hate to give up or, you know, and you want it to be perfect, but there's really no perfect way to do this. It just some practice and just looking at it and you just keep going and going and going. And eventually, hopefully you'll get a look you like. And if not, just hose the whole thing down with water and start over. I'm going to I don't know what is this my fourth or fifth attempt at this but now it's starting to look good isn't it kind of proud of myself I'm just dabbing off the the little excess there and I'm thinking hmm I kind of like this so there I added the a um, stitched border die to it and look it's kind of spooky ooky and I'm going to show you the card that I made the whole idea is the moon and inking technique not the whole card but here's my card and that is from pumpkin patch and it's from moonlight the bats are from moonlight and I added some red paint for their eyes and I just put a happy Halloween sentiment from crazy talk and there is my first moon come back again soon it won't be as many moons till I come back this time you have a fabulous day and if you would please like subscribe come back and see me and tell a friend lots more projects to come especially those next two cards and here are some videos until next time bye bye